at Bank of America Stadium. It was a good one. It certainly lived up to the hype. Jake DeLome and company and Jeff Garcia battling to take control of the NFC South. Tampa down 3 0 in the second quarter. Garcia to Antonio Bryant, who's wide open TD. He's having an outstanding year thus far. This guy is really making a nice little season of, of this. I down the two yard line, but interestingly enough, entering Monday night, the Buccaneers just 16 touchdowns and 47 red zone possessions, 31st in the NFL. And there you see Garcia and Alex Smith can't connect. The next play, second down, Cadillac Williams stuffed after a one yard game. Third and one, and Garcia finally unloads, but it's incomplete to Jeremy Stevens. John Beeson is there, so the Bucks had to settle for a field goal. Getting field goals instead of touchdowns in this game would prove costly. All right, here come the Panthers now. D'Angelo Williams, last time these two teams played each other, Williams and Stewart only rushed for 40 yards. Much different story Monday night. Came out running the football, showed how physical they were between the trenches. You know, this kind of game is really going to be determined whose offensive line plays better. All right, second and goal from the two. It's Jonathan Stewart, and Carolina goes up 10-3. to And that was the score at the break. And in the third quarter, the uh, offensive floodgates opening. Jake DeLome here picked off by Jermaine Phillips. But take another look. Phillips juggles it, but regains possession before the ball hits the ground. That is a great job of concentrating. A couple of plays later, the Bucks trying to take advantage. Garcia on the play action. Deep to Bryant. And Bryant pulls it down and then watch Bryant have a nose for the end zone. So we're tied up to 10. This guy, I don't know what he, what he did this year, but he's having an outstanding season. Well, he season. was out of football all of last season, and John Gruden wanted to take a chance. He needed a big body receiver. Jake DeLome to Moose and Muhammad. It's a 12-yard gain there. Three plays later, second and three. DeLome to Steve Smith. Panthers have a great receiver themselves. Smith, one of the best in the game, 38 yards there. DeLome, four for four with that drive for 68 yards. 17-10 Carolina on top. All right, next half possession. It is Jeff Garcia to play it again. 39 yards. Garcia says, hey, you can do it. I can do it too. And this is a good feeling here for Cadillac Williams nearly uh, 14 months ago. This is the field where he had his knee injury take place that ended his season and put him on the pup list for most of this season. All right, to Panthers now. Talking things over on the sideline, they decide to get their running game going. Stewart, 18 yards up the middle. Fourth quarter, same drive on a first and goal from the four. It's Jonathan Stewart. The rookie running backs this year have been tremendous. Yes, they have been. And this guy leads the pack. I mean, he's one of the guys that came in this season with the toe problem, but seems like it's not affecting him right now. Carolina on top, 24-17. Now it's Williams down the right side. 41 yards. He's over 100 on the night. Two plays later, it's Stewart. And he goes 30 yards. Tells Rondé Barber, get off me. These guys are having a great time out there. You know, one guy goes out there, plays well. The other guy has to outdo him. You love this drive. We I love this drive. This, this, this drive right here is what, what football is all about. Running the football, leaning on your opposition, scoring touchdowns. That really, that hurts the defense when they have to try to stop that running game late in the, late in the uh, game. All right, Carolina on top, 31-17. But Garcia and Bryant weren't done. 14 yards here. And then watch the catch by Antonio Bryant, who tops the 200-yard mark for the night. A career night. They miss the extra point. But that is amazing. That's a nice catch. 31 to 23. All right, Tampa tried an onside kick. It didn't work. Williams had it working himself. 36 yards. What happened to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers run defense? They came into this game ninth in the league and stopping the run. Fourth overall in total defense. But that Buccaneers Tampa 2 gets shredded. 38 to 23 the final. D'Angelo Williams rushing for 186 yards. Jonathan Stewart, 115. This is the second time this season that both of these guys have rushed for over 100 yards in the same game.